Let's talk about why you should choose to be happy. Yeah, why you should choose. Happiness is a choice. What is up my fellow goal getter? Welcome back to another video. My name is Zach. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to dominate your goals, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications, that way you don't miss anything. And we're getting started right now. Yeah, we some goal getters. We're getting started right now, right now. We some goal getters. First off, happiness is a choice, all right? Whenever, you know, you hear people talking about like, oh, I'm, I'm just sad and impressed because he did this or she did that, blah, blah, blah. No, that's bullshit, all right? Happiness is a choice. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can make you unhappy. You have the choice of how you fat, how you feel and act and respond to it. You know, I read this in Stephen R. Covey's book and then I went on to read uh, Victor Frankl's book where he talks about it. Victor Frankl, he was he was in the Nazi death camps. His whole family got killed by the, by the Nazis. Um, he got brutally tortured day in day out. He's watching his friends die left and right for years inside of this death camp. And he talks about one of the the human the last he calls it the last human's freedom, uh, where no matter what kind of re stimulus or outside force or circumstances happening between that and our response to it is in between that our freedom to choose the response. So, you know, you, yeah, your boss could fire you or, 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 or call you a prick or whatever, and um, it's up to you whether you let that make you happy or, or mad or whatever, you know, you, you respond to that your own way. And now, first off, another thing, I said first off twice, another thing is, I'm not perfect, all right? Yeah, I still get pissed off when, when certain people do things, you know, uh, and I'm working on that. But when it comes down to it, it's my choice of if I let them piss me off or not, or if I get all sad and depressed because uh, my life isn't the way exactly I wanted it, you know, boo-hoo. You know, nobody gives a shit about that. But you you got to make it happen. No, you, can't, you can't rely on anybody else or anything else for your happiness but yourself. That comes from within, and if you do place that outside and, and, and say, I'll only be happy if so-and-so does this or if this happens in my life, you're going to have a horrible, miserable life. Life. Just being honest. All right, I'm calm down. I had to take a five minute breather, but uh, get to get that off my chest. But life, all right, it's about life is about the pursuit of happiness. It's about finding that meaning, what makes you happy in life. And we only got a short time here, so why spend it, you know, being upset about everything that doesn't go your way and when people do certain things? Why give the control and power outside of here? Why not keep it within here? You know, why don't we? be the creators of our own happiness and, and the creators of our own life, be the blueprint designer, all that. You know, we can and we should, and that's the key to living a happy and successful and fulfillment and all that. That's, that's the key. So find what makes you happy and, and choose to be happy. You know, and obviously, you know, like I, I get it, if, if, if someone dies that you really love and stuff, that's gonna hurt. I'm not saying like I'm a cold-hearted, you know, animal or nothing, that's going to hurt, you know, but it, it's your response to it, what you do moving forward, it all depends on you. And you can choose to let a tragic incident like that in your life to bring you down too and, and, and subtract from your happiness in life, or you can use it, you know, to, to bring something else greater in the world. Because I think Napoleon Hill says this, you know, the, the, for every failure, there's a seed of the equivalent success. Um, you know, like that doesn't mean like for every adversity in life, like there's a great thing that happens right away. He said there's a seed, you know. So like when I went to prison and, and, and missed the birth of my children this last time by 20 days, yeah, that sucked. That was the lowest I've ever felt in my life. You know, I just missed the birth of my own children and I left my wife out there by herself to bring these children into the world without me. Miss my twin boys being born. That hurt, that sucked, that was the, wor the worst I've ever felt. But at the same time, it was one of the best things that could ever happen to me because it made me who I am right now. And it, and it, and it drove me to, it, it planted that seed right at the time. It didn't happen right away. I had to go through eight months of not seeing my children all locked away in prison, but it planted that seed, that desire to get out and be a responsible father and live a happy and fulfilling life and go out and do things to contribute to the world on a greater scale that's bigger than myself. 
that seed got planted from that adversary. So just know that life is about the pursuit of happiness and what you make of it. So we should choose to be happy. And a great way to be happy is by making goals that excite you, that are aligned with your purpose. And uh, I won't go into specific details for the sake of this video, but you can check out this video right here on why goal setting is so powerful and how to do it effectively. And yes, we should, yeah, we should always choose to be happy um, as much as we can, but no matter what, you know, that doesn't mean that don't try and feel other feelings because all feelings, all emotions are good. You just got to use them the right way. You got to learn what they're talking about. And you are not going to be happy 100% of the time, but the goal is to be happy as much as you can as much as you possibly can pursue happiness and I have a whole video breakdown on how to use other emotions to your advantage right there that I would definitely 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 check out um, but just know that all emotions aren't bad but you should pursue to be happy as much as you possibly can if you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more videos that are just like it then make sure you check out this playlist right there and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet that really hurts my feelings and i'm trying to choose to be happy right now and i could be happy if you did it not this plan uh that totally went against everything i just said but you should definitely subscribe if you want the best tips on how to dominate your goals and i appreciate you for tuning in and as always thanks for watching i will see you next time we some we're getting started right now right now